what am I doing here? Oh, making another podcast episode about Supernatural. This time, it's about Gavin McCloud, Fergus's, or as we know and love him, Crowley's son. So, if you remember in the show, Crowley and uh, Gavin did not get along. Uh, Bobby summoned Gavin using a signet ring that was found on a shipwreck of the star. I think it was, uh, watched the episode, like, a couple hours ago. I'm on 15 now. (laughs) Season 12, episode 15. I've been flying through this season. It's a lot of fun. Highly recommend season 12. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. But anyway, back to Gavin. Um, so, they summon Gavin's spirit, which meant that Gavin's dead. But later on in the show... Abaddon, uh, well, they summon um, Gavin's spirit, and Gavin hated his father, so he told them where Crowley was buried. So that that's what was going on there. And then later on in the show, Abaddon came and took Gavin to 2014, and Crowley basically just took him and left him there to live out his life. So... At that point, he did not get on the ship, and he did not die, so there would have been no logical way to summon a spirit, right? Are you are you picking up what I'm putting down here? It's a little bit confusing. Then, they actually had him go back in time to uh, save his fiance from being gang raped and becoming an eventual spirit, and so... Assumedly, they both died in the shipwreck, which is how his spirit could be summoned, which, okay, I'm with that. That makes sense. The problem I'm having with this scenario is that it creates a paradox. Then how does anybody remember Gavin if he never came back to 2014? Or was it 2015? Uh, I, it's been a while since I've seen those episodes, so yeah. Um, <coughs> um, ooh, sorry about that. But uh, anyway, it's just, it's weird because, like, are the Winchester brothers not affected by the paradox because they both died? And are considered to be out of time. Because that makes sense for Crowley and Rowena. Because she's a witch. He's a demon. So like the time wouldn't affect them. And it's possible that they could be experiencing concurrent timelines at once. But the Winchesters. I mean I know with the Azazel Fetzam. Some demon blood. But I mean that wouldn't affect them now. Would it? I mean, like, he had the guess, but wasn't that purged? Maybe I'm misremembering. I I could be. And, like, there could be a a totally logical explanation. But I really wish that somebody would just be like, hey, this is what's going on. Because that's really, really confusing. Anyway, I just thought that I'd uh, get that off my chest. And now I'm back to uh, going to binging some more Supernatural. Bye-bye.